All right, people, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. So uh, it's still pod season. I don't want anyone to get nervous. We still have a little bit of pod season remaining, but this is to remind you that pod season is coming to an end. I have Lazy Eye Premium Hot Sauce, five ounces of habanero happiness. All righty. Now, here's the thing. This was sent to the post office box. I got back from my travel because I travel a lot, and I didn't see a note. All I saw was this. So I don't know who sent this to me. I looked up online and couldn't find Lazy Eye. But we're going to give this a shot. It's buffalo sauce, habanero peppers, vinegar, and spices. So uh, here's what happens every year with pod season. Um, I have some surprises for this off season. However, what happens in pod season every single year is that uh, you know, there's there's no pods, and all of a sudden, you know, there are people growing pods everywhere, and then, boom, just like that, it's pods everywhere, all pods all the time. And then uh, I'm getting better at it. The first season, I remember all of a sudden just waking up one day and pod season was over, and I never saw it coming. It was like getting hit by a bus. Um, and then, so, you know, going into, this is season uh, not eight we're in right now, or nine, Season eight is what we're in right now. So, uh, you know, it's it, I've gotten better at it. I can smell it coming. I can see it's not quite as a, sh a shock to me when pepper season ends. It's still rough, though, because given a choice, listen, I love hot sauce. I do. I love powders. I love everything. I love all things spicy. But if I had to pick a box and they said you can eat hot sauce for the rest of your life, but to the exclusion of everything else, or you can eat pods for the rest of your life to the exclusion of everything else, I would choose peppers any day. I, I'm a pepperhead. I love peppers, man. But anyway, so today I'm just we're doing this to number one because it looks like a cool sauce. But number two, to remind y'all that this is coming to an end. But I do have some really cool surprises for this off season. I have some cool stuff in the works. Some stuff that I can't believe I haven't done already. But anyway, uh, lazy eye. Here we go. Um, got yo flow restrictor on there. I'm not gonna take it off. Pick up a little bit of the vinegar. I'm not sure what the spices are, but certainly picking up on the, the habanero and the vinegar. The vinegar is the, kind of the ar aromatic vehicle that kind of brings it all together, kind of holds it together for you. All right, so here's the uh, pour. And I don't have my spoon with me, so I'm using my anatomical snuff box. And some of you may be saying, like, what, I'm sorry, what did he say? See that little, if you hold your thumb up, it creates a little pocket. And that, believe it or not, that is actually called, if you Google anatomical snuff box, that's it. And I've got a spectacular anatomical snuff box. Keep it clean. All right, guys. So uh, Lazy Eye Premium Hot Sauce. My name is Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Certainly getting the, the vinegar. It sort of has that buffalo sort of flavor. Um, what I'm picking up is, this is, I, I, I want to say this carefully because I'm not sure who the owner, the creator of Lazy Eye is. Um, I'm a salty guy. I, I like salt, okay? Um, this is salty. It's not a problem for me, but if you're somebody who doesn't appreciate sodium, you may have trouble with this, pr trouble with this one because this one is pretty, pretty salty. But the flavor is good. It's got a bright flavor. The habanero flavor is wonderful. There's, I think there must be a lot of black pepper in this. The finish is black pepper. It almost tastes like a habanero mash. If you ever have a, just taste straight habanero mash, how it's habanero and very salt forward. This is, uh, the, the habanero flavor is great. Um, as I said, it's kind of salty. I like it, so it's not a problem for me, but if you, again, if you're somebody that doesn't like sodium, you won't like this. They're from Polar, Wisconsin, so that's kind of neat. Gluten-free people. Um, let's talk about the heat on this. Um, it's pretty typical for a habanero sauce. 
Um, it's funny for people that for non chili heads, habanero is really hot, and that can be kind of the threshold for a lot of folks. People that are hardcore chili heads, that's kind of where it begins. Um, but the flavor is great. I, I like the flavor of it. Um, it's relatively simplistic. You know, I got ants crawling over my feet. What is that about? I don't like ants, man. Get off me. Um, so if you're if you're not a chili head. This would be pretty warm for you, probably a six or seven if you're not a chili head. Here's the thing though, if you're not a chili head, man, these ants. I'm picking my feet up, how about that? So uh, if you are not a chili head, this wouldn't be problematic for you, you could enjoy it, but all you would need to do is start, you know, go sparingly, go easy. But if you're a chili head, you'll appreciate this. This would be great on street tacos, you know, any Mexican cuisine, this would be wonderful on. So the flavor is pretty good. Um, so six to six or seven for a non-chili head. If you're a chili head, maybe a three um, or four. I like it. So here's the question: What are you doing today? Do you have any plans? Do you have any plans? Um, I'm gonna do. There's. Well, there'll be more pepper videos later this afternoon. But this is a reminder to let you know that hot sauce that hot sauce is coming back, people. Pepper season is winding down. Now listen, uh, lazy eye. If you see this, please send me all of your information to chase the heat at gmail.com and I will input all that information in the description box. But as it is now, I just have the sauce, lazy eye. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with me, guys. The next video will be uh, I'm gonna do some cat videos today we'll, do, we'll definitely have uh, some pepper videos later on who loves you though this guy does in the description box you're going to see a link for a few things my son johnny scoville jr and the lifeboat now the lifeboat's a really important channel one of the most important channels on youtube as far as i'm concerned it's a channel about you know it's not just about recovery but that's a big part of it it's about living a life on purpose uh, and not going through the motions, not living your life with your switch down, but getting engaged and living your best life. That's what it's about. So if you if you have past trauma or an addiction that you're trying to put in your rear view mirror, like I have, I am sober today, 15 years, 14 or 15 years sober for all the nasty drugs. And I am five and a half years approximately sober from uh, alcohol. I couldn't be happier. But what you'll get if you go to the lifeboat is judgment free support. And I'll tell you something, you have no idea how important that is. So if you're, if you're looking to uh, better your life, start at the lifeboat. Up on top, we have Pepperology, which is geared for brand new chili heads. Um, and the other one is, are the 26 most devastating challenges I've ever done. Thank you for hanging out with me. My name is Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.